See, here's one of the problems with your creative mind. Once you've finished with something like this, and you really, really like the shape of it, and, and I do really, really like the shape of it, you start getting other ideas. I am going to try and keep this as simple as is possible. If you want to just leave the body as is, go for it. Hell, I went an entire two days without thinking that I wanted to change it, so... You know... If you're not OCD and completely insane like I am, then you might actually be able to leave it as is the whole time. I've decided I do want to do some carving. What I'm using here is a flexible ruler, which is something that I haven't actually used <laughs> since I left university five years ago. This thing is an absolute godsend for anyone who just can't be bothered to spend ages sketching lines and then having to rub them out or go over in pen or spend forever making them spot on perfect when you can just gauge it by eye with this and just keep changing it, keep moulding it or just bend to whatever angle you want it to. The amount of different sketches and things that I did that people went, Oh, have you done that freehand? Yes! Definitely did it freehand. <laughs> oh dear. Now, of course, the great thing is about this is you don't have to get it perfect first time, but it just gets you so much closer. You can sort of see what it looks like before you've even drawn it. Hold that in place and hope to God that this looks right. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty damn good. It's a little bit wobbly, but well, I'm going to be using a file on the damn thing or an angle grinder. Essentially, now, now that you've seen that, I don't need to demonstrate on the entire body. But essentially, because I've got kind of straight edges with soft curves and then finishing off with pointy bits, I kind of want to do the same thing on the body. Straight edge, soft curves, and then coming into... A from about, about kind of middle of the main body, kind of starting to span in with some nice tight edges. The thing is I don't actually want to take off too much weight from this, because otherwise this is just going to be neck heavy, because that's a light body, that's quite a heavy neck. A heavy body this is not. Right, I'll show you the lines once they're done. Well, I made a decision. I decided to put chicken on for tea. And to shape this body. <laughs> oh god, this is such a stupid idea. I'm literally just putting an edge on it. That's it. No more. Holy shit, that's aggressive. I should have used the surf form only on the neck, and I shouldn't be using this on the body, because this is aggressive. Look at that lovely sanded body, and I'm just completely decimating it. Again, if you are doing this, be bloody mindful of where this is actually going. Now, there is no real plan for the actual shape of this in my head, I just, I just know I wanted a, some kind of edge on that. Just because it kind of looked a bit, I don't know, blobby? I don't know if that's the right word. It didn't have much form to it, it was kind of just... Here's generic bass shape. Not quite Fender P bass or Fender Jazz, which is just the generic bass shape, in the same way that Strat is just a generic guitar shape. Or is it Telly? Hmm, Stratortelli, generic guitar shape. Vote now. I know that my vote is who cares. Making lots of mess on the floor. Hooray. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Let's experiment with the file. I've actually noticed that this flat file is slightly more coarse than the half round. So just like with sandpaper where you use cost grip and then work your way up to fine ones, you do the same with files. Mm. 
it just puts a bit more character into it somehow. Right, that's the process. Go and do that. Come up with some kind of cool carving. If you do actually come up with them, post the link in the uh, comments. You can't quite tell where the edge of the car carving thing is. Take a pencil, this is a 5B, but any pencil will do. 5B is great because you can do this trick much, much easier. And do that thing that you used to do in school when you thought, oh, I want to shade a big area, and you, and, you, and you rub it like that. Just rub on the sides there, and the main bit that catches is where your carve is. And as a result of that, I've found that that bit is completely uneven. Which means you can just go back with the file. And, and just neaten it all out. Although to be fair, I have completely ruined that section, so I'm going to have to figure out what to do there. Anyway, there's my little tip. Carry on. <laughs> right, um, I'm going to carry on with this, then have my tea, and then carry on with this. See you in the next video. As always, stay creative. Christ, why do I do this to myself? Could have just left it. Could have finished the thing now. Yeah.